everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Rhino Rack Roof Rack System. We'll take a look at how it fits this 2014 Infiniti Q50. So if you want to carry around some fun accessories, maybe you want to carry around some bikes but you don't have a hitch or even larger items like kayaks, we can do is put them on your roof. What you first need though is a roof rack system. This is gonna be the Rhino Rack Roof Rack System. There are a bunch of different options for your Infiniti Q50. This is what you would go with if you want a slightly faster and easier install and also a more rugged look. This is gonna be your medium price point roof rack as well where you still get quality at not that much of an expense. So let's take a look at some of its pros and cons, especially on our little sedan here. So this is going to have the 46 inch long crossbars, the 2500 towers, and the custom fit kit for your sedan. Now these are three different parts, but we can send them to you as a kit. If you use our fit guide, where you put your year make model here at eTrailer, we'll have that all included in one kit for you. And later in this video, I'll show you how to install it. But first, let's talk about the crossbars. For height, you have two measurements for roof clearance. One is gonna be how much space you have underneath your crossbars. Here it's about three inches, and that's how much space you have for clamps. Some accessories have U-bolts that go underneath. You want a lot of clearance, which this offers. The next is how high does this sit above your roof? And this is just a little past four inches. So that's where your cargo sits. If you're carrying around skis with extra tall bindings, you will make sure there's enough clearance if there isn't, you get accessories that give you more height. Since we have a sedan, we're not worried about this hitting the roof of our garage or anything. And we have plenty of clearance underneath, so it's gonna be a good fit for most accessories. On top of your crossbars, you have these T-Track channels. So you do have the vortex strips which you take out in order to access it. You also have to remove the end cap to get into those channels. If you're using T-Track mounted accessories, you'll take these up take these off and cut them around your accessory, which is a downside. I recommend picking up extras of these before or as you purchase your roof rack so that you're ready to go. This offers you 165 pounds of weight capacity. You do have aluminum bars with struts on the inside, so you have really good capacity as well in the center of your crossbars. You're not worried about it bowing in the middle, but be mindful that this weight capacity includes the weight of your carrier. So if you're carrying around a heavy kayak, also remember the weight of the carrier and make sure that included with the roof rack does not exceed your roof weight capacity. Since you do have a naked roof on your roof, meaning there's no rails or fixed points, you use hooks to go into your roof, you're limited to a specific crossbar spread. That measurement is from one bar to another 27 and 5 eighths of an inch. This is pretty in the middle for most accessories, good for roof boxes and kayaks and skis and snowboards. For installing your roof rack, it might look a little overwhelming at first, but that's what this video is for. I'm gonna guide you through the process. I already installed the rear crossbar, so we are going to install the front crossbar together, which is actually where you start because it's easier to go from the front and then install the rear. So we have the crossbars, we have the towers, we have the clamps, let's put them together. First, you're going to push in the wind strips into the T-Track channel on top of your crossbar. Then you're going to flip the crossbar over so that you have access to the bottom channel. And that's where you're going to put your towers. So notice that the towers have this long or large square plate you're gonna to wanna to loosen it just enough so it can slide through. Once it's pushed in, you're then going to measure where to stop. You get this measurement strip included with your crossbars and you're gonna follow the measurement printed on your instructions. So for the front crossbar, it says 187. So usually you just cut there at the 187. In our case here, since we're just doing a demonstration, I'm not gonna cut it, but I'll show you how it pushes in to your roof rack crossbar, go to where the cut line is, and that's where you line up the end of your tower. So you're gonna tighten down the tower with the included Allen key tool. And this actually has its own torque setting which you'll be using throughout this install. The way that torque setting works is that you push on the end of the lever 
and the lever bends straight if you have enough torque. If it bends past horizontal, you're over tightening the bolt. Installing the pads is next. And to do that, you first need to figure out which one's the right side and which is the left of the crossbar. An easy way to orient yourself is to have the brand logo facing the front of your vehicle. And then the right is gonna be passenger side, left is driver's side. So this is gonna be your right side. Flip it over, find the pad for the right side. Look for the numbers printed underneath the pad. So this is 697, which is the right side. And that's going to fit onto our arrow here. So the arrow is going to be facing out. And just push the plate and the pad together. Arrow still facing out or away from the vehicle. You then push the plate onto the tower. Now where do you put your crossbars? Well, for here we're going to measure from between the doors, that seam. And then it has a measurement for your front cost bar of 10 and 5 eighths of an inch. So we're gonna go over there. We're gonna take that spot, which is right here. And then your kit includes some stickers if you wanna put that on your door, and that will save your spot. Now get your crossbar. Make sure that the towers are secured and the rubber pads are underneath because you're then going to gently place this on your roof and try to line it up with the marking. The arrow on the tower should line up with the arrow of your measurement. And you want to, the pad to be as flush with the contours of your vehicle on both sides. Now you're going to attach the hooks. So open up the door, put the hook onto the tower, and we're just going to set this into place because you want to make sure it lines up with the curves of your vehicle. Hold it flush as you then get the bolt and you're gonna thread it into the nut in the back. So this can be a little tricky to get threaded the first time, but hand tighten it down before you go to the other one. Now before you use your tool, you're going to want to tighten it down evenly on both sides. So go like 50% on this side, another 50 on that side, 75, back and forth, so you're not pulling the whole system one way to the other. This is helpful if you have a friend with you, otherwise you're just walking back and forth. Remember that torque setting we talked about? You'll also use that for the towers so you don't over tighten them. So for your front crossbar, it's not as sleek of a fit as for your rear crossbar. So not the best fit I've seen, but it's also solid and secure on there. And if you do it right, you can slam your door on the hooks, no problem. So make sure all four towers are tightened down and then you're gonna put the door on there and lock it to secure it. Final step is the end caps for your crossbars. So you have your Rhino Rack security caps, which use a special Rhino Rack tool, and that keeps your end cap on the crossbar. If you want to, you can purchase metal lock cores separately. I recommend adding the keys to your keychain or putting them in a safe spot in your vehicle. But other than that, once you just double check that everything is solid and secure, you're ready to load up your roof rack and hit the road because you are done with the install. That there was a look at our Rhino Rack Reef Rack with the 46 inch long Vortex Aero crossbars, the towers, as well as the custom fit kit for your 2014 Infinity Q50.